Well, it's time for a Shuri round two. All right. Oh, hey, I didn't actually use the bunny strike, so I still have it available for firing. All right. So, uh, yeah, at Shuri round two, she's going to be a good deal tougher than last time. Oh, yeah, bunny strike right into the corner. Perfect. But, uh, yeah, she just totally forgot that we're a rabbit. Totally forgot why she decided to fight us the first time in the first place. Okay, got some lasers to go. Oh, right. You gotta be more careful with her this time because uh, whenever she's flying around on her broom, she's got the stars around her. So you can't just attack through her like last time. Alright. It's typically best to stay at least a decent deal away from her because she has lots of projectiles that she can just throw out without a moment's notice. Oh, okay. Despite its appearance in the game, I do like to have the air dash at this point, because it makes it much easier to dodge a lot of her attacks. You know, assuming that she doesn't do them right on top of you anyway. Yeah, like that attack where she was flying by on her broom constantly. If this was the first battle, I could have probably just sat there and, like, swung my hammer and used the little frames during that to, uh, phase through her attack, essentially. But, uh, nope, she's got stars around her now, so it's a problem. Look, okay. Gotta be careful of those ricochets. Oh, alright, that was, that was nice. Just air dash behind her, and get some hits. Oh, okay, that's bad. Oh, still dodged. Not too good at dodging that move, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that that worked out. Oh, what? Come on now, Ribbon. That projectile did not go through her. Whoop. Okay, that hit. Right, there's this. Ah. Yeah, it is easy to uh, fight Ashuri as early as whenever you're uh, doing Sassini's request the first time around. And if you happen to find her that time, that will be quite the difficulty spike, uh, let me tell ya. What? Okay, no. Right now, I'm just trying to build up some combo. Oh. Well, that's not going to help if I keep getting hit by those. Ah, darn it. Notably, one thing that you can do is by holding down the attack button, it'll actually allow you to move slower. In case you find that you're just ramming yourself into uh, opponent attacks a lot. Also, another thing to note is the fact that if you charge an attack, switching the type of magic that you're using will not reset the charge. So you can charge an attack as the yellow laser while doing the constant, you know, laser damage, and then switch over to the blue attack whenever you want to fire off the charge shot. And she's headed off. You might notice that Ashuri's hat doesn't really look like, in her sprite that is, doesn't really look like the hat that you see her wear in any other scenario, whether it's like the her talk frames or just the image that we saw earlier. Looks like a different hat, and that's because it is. The, for, for almost all characters, their in-game sprite was created before any other official art of them was made. And so if you look at the early official art for Ashuri, she is wearing a hat that actually looks like the hat that her sprite is wearing. It was just changed later on because, I don't know, I guess they wanted to more emphasize the fact that she's a witch. Alright, so here we have Evernight Peak. We're not going to be spending a lot of time here for right now. We'll be coming back here later, though. Because, I mean, obviously, we're, we're gonna get, like, everything in the game, so... Yeah. <laughs> but, I just want to go in here because there's an easy little warp space for us to work with. So, yeah, I mainly wanted to fight Ashuri so that we could get the red magic! 
The red magic has uh, two sideways shots. Its first shot looks like that. And its max charge looks like that. Notably, these shots are actually short range. You just can't tell from the middle of the screen. Let's try to go off to the side here. Where you might be able to see their range. There we go. And uh, yeah, then it sort of explodes into a ball of fire. Also, I want to talk to Syro. So basically, after bringing somebody back to the town, you'll be able to talk to them and pay for a temporary upgrade. But Syro's upgrade is more than just that, because it's actually an item that we get. And this item will allow us to detect other upgrades. Coco is also special. That's chocolate. It's, it's not Coco that I'm talking to. But I guess this is nice to see. This is what most characters will do. For a certain cost, they'll give you a temporary status upgrade. So Coco will give you extra health. You can get extra magic, extra attack. You can inflict status opponent status effects on enemies. All sorts of stuff. Let's try to talk to, talk, talk to Coco this time. So, uh, yeah, we'll take one of those bombs. So, yeah, we have a Cocoa Bomb. Let's, uh, take a look. Yep, by pressing up, we can use the Cocoa Bomb. And, uh, it's a screen clear, but like all the other items that you use, it does take a moment to, like, charge up before its use. Alright, where to next? I think I'm going to go to the beach area. Now, notably, despite the, despite the fact that we defeated Ashuri, uh, she did not become a member of the town just yet. We had to do something else later on. And what I'm about to do here is actually kind of setting that up. Actually, no, we could just go down here and... Oh, okay, there's a person. Yeah, check out these people. Now that we have the slide, we can access this area. And no, we are not a bunny hunter. Yeah, we actually saw this room already. Yes, the uh, the red magic can be the most damaging as long as the enemy decides to sit still in one place while they get hit by all the by all the uh, repeated attacks from the red spell's move. Of course, most opponents aren't just going to stand still. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the gimmicks of this area. There's these light beams that you have to uh, be careful about. You can't get hit by them or else the doors will close and uh, it's bad news. Let's see, I think we can break through this. Yes, we can. Get some health. All right, but uh, yeah, those black background areas d uh, signify where it's safe to stand, essentially. All right, yes, there's another item in here, some more pack up. And with that, I think we can actually uh, equip the, the Lucky 7 again, so that's nice. All right, now going up through this room is a little bit annoying. There we go. Gotta be careful with that. Oh, we go in here. Bomb this. And get an attack up. This is, uh, it's actually possible to go through this room another way. The, uh, there's sort of a way to go through that ceiling section there. It's an invisible pathway in a sense. And, uh, the fact that a door leads to here made me wonder how to get that attack up for quite some time. Until I just sort of... Oh, how did that even miss? That's not right. Alright, there we go. Until, yeah, I just sort of saw that there was a door that I never went through. Alright, armor! Ooh, I think this is a good one. What does armor do? Reduce knockback from attack and reduce collision damage. Well, goodbye, Lucky7. We're using armor now. Whoop! Oh, that's bad. Well, let's just speed on through this room. 
Oh, this part. This part's a little bit dangerous. These bunny girls have bombs. And much like your carrot bombs, their bombs will also destroy the floor. Oh, right. There's this There's this right here, though. You want to make sure to destroy that floor, at least, to be able to get that item. Yeah, you want to be a little bit careful there, though, because it's pretty easy for the floor to just get destroyed and you have nowhere to go. Oh, 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 okay. Come on now. Just want to get in this corner here. There we go. So yeah, now we have an easy pathway from there to there. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the blue magic again. Because it's boss time. Well, Pandora here is pretty darn stressed out, with all the people hanging around in her pyramid even though she's telling not to. So, she decided to attack Arena. Yes, while Pandora is pretty far from my favorite character in this game, she probably has one of my favorite boss fights. She's got a lot of cool moves. It's a good time. Alright, so there's this move. She's, she's, she's throwing the thing at ya. There we go. Alright, here we go. Yeah, Pandora's alright, you know. She's pretty clearly supposed to be Egyptian. Don't know why she's wearing a bikini, though. I guess maybe it's because she's the uh, the boss of the beach area. Even though she is technically inside a pyramid. Whoop, okay, okay. I'm just gonna not deal with that. There we go. Oh, oh, I did the slide instead of the, the bunny hop. Right, there's this move. Giant explosions. Gotta have them giant explosions. There we go. That was a good bunny strike. Alright, so this part. I didn't really understand how this move worked for a long time. But uh, these attacks here actually don't hurt you while you're in the middle of jumping. Or at least the giant circles that are going outward stone. The squares do, though. One thing that I like about Pandora is the fact that uh, a lot of the time, the uh, meter will tell you to stop attacking her. So it's pretty easy to get some good boost out of that. Oh, okay, there we go. Got that. Oh, that's bad. Nope. I can never tell which way these uh, lasers are actually going to be attacking. Oh wow, that bunny strike does like 8 damage per hit. That was bad. Alright, oh right. This is easy though, because the lasers come out of her. So that's not too hard to figure out. Alright, she's nearly down. Oh, no. Ah. There we go. She's down. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool boss battle right there. I enjoy it. Well, that, would, that sure was a discussion. <laughs> and there she goes to Rabby Rabby Town. <laughs> 